took a much closer look at these annual audits. They contain several more significant deficiencies year after year revealed by state examiners. We are out in the community every day. Rachel Riddle is the state's chief examiner watching your tax dollars. Anything dealing with public funds, and that's a pretty broad definition, um, we have authority over to go in and check on. Annual audits by her office are done on over 1,000 agencies from the state down to county governments. And when called on small towns, even the local sports league can face an audit. Build safeguards, build safeguards. That is very, very important. Examiners delivered a bombshell in the Chilton County Schools 2019-2020 audit. Some employees' paychecks miscalculated for years. ABC 3340 took a closer look at the audits over the past three years, revealing many other failures. There was no complete and accurate physical inventory of school property exposing assets to loss or theft, inadequate internal controls over approval of timesheets, receipt procedures not followed at local schools, and athletic events. One example cited missing teacher receipt books. Sorry. Jason Griffin. Is not available. Hey, Mr. Griffin, this is Cynthia Gould at ABC 3340 again. Hey, I'm still trying to reach you for a story we're working on. We tried to reach Superintendent Jason Griffin, four phone calls, three emails, and a visit to the board offices with no response from Griffin. We also tried to reach board president Pam Price. The 2018-2019 audit revealed transactions not properly recorded, totaling $260,000. Receipt book procedures again not followed at local schools. Numerous expenditures not properly approved or documented. And more red flags from 2017-2018. Those include questions about the accuracy of financial statements, fundraising procedures not followed, and failure to comply with the bid law when purchasing a vehicle. Examiner Riddle does not comment on specific audits, but says it's a red flag when deficient are not corrected by the next year. In a lot of instances, you'll see that something's been reported year after year, and then five years down the road, potentially something criminal happens. Nothing criminal reported in Chilton County, but auditors point out there is an increased risk with for loss when these procedures are not followed. Uh, explain to us real quick, Cynthia, what is an exit conference? Well, that's where the state examiners meet with elected leaders, in this case, Superintendent Griffin and three to four board members. Corrective measures are agreed upon. We are still waiting, though, to find out why that did not happen in this case year after year. Cynthia, we know you will stay on this. Thank you. Our I-team is working for you. If you know or something that needs a closer look, we want you to let us know. You can call or text us at the number on your screen or be sure to submit your tip online through the iTeam page on our website or free mobile app.